Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? Dad? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks.
Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A pirate flag? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <sighs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something that shit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, Needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> He's... Moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's, a uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. 
May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Hey, chances are pretty soon this entire town will be burnt to a smoldering pile of ashes, so, you know, things are really looking up for us. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck, bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just... You and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. This place is the shit. It's like my junk fortress of solitude. Huh. 
a bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. that the hazelnut is the official state. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank, it's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. <laughs> Dude! It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that look? Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. No. Fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? And we're back. You're listening to 87.9 FM The Seder. I have with me Jack Kearney, Chief of the Arcadia Bay Fire Department. I'm gonna cut right to the chase, Jack. What can you tell us about this huge fire? It's a nasty one, all right. Big, hard to contain. We don't typically see fires like this on the Oregon coast this time of year. There hasn't been any serious injuries yet, but that could change at any second. How about civilians and all this? Are we, uh, going to have to evacuate the next few days? I don't think it'll come to that. Hey there. Well, uh, it's okay, uh, little guy. Aw, oh, shit! Pompadour, get up here! But not as fancy cool. Pompadour? You little killer. Right now, we're doing everything we can just to keep it contained. Got it. 
Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Is this what I think it is? Ugh, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. A betting slip? $1,200? out of my league. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, Tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <sighs> Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Your customers like you, because you're laid back. That's why I like you. So you should keep building up that easygoing vibe, you know? Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Jeez, Frank. So sensitive. You guys got a thing going? Mixing business with pleasure? What? No, I... Forget it, Price. Over my dead body. You know when I joke about being your favorite customer? I'm kind of not joking. Deep down in your gut, I think you know you can totally trust me. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago, causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? I did have it yesterday, but I snuck it into my mom's purse. Good for you, Price. Taking care of your own. You can pay me some other time. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. 
That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No. I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. I didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms.